So let's get at this problem. I have 2b plus 4 equals negative 18 minus 9b. And I'll, it gets a lot with students is let's get the variable by itself, right? We, instead of just undoing operations, if I have a variable on both sides, which variable am I going to undo the operations from? So the main important thing is to get our variables together on the same side. Excuse me. Here we go. All right. So I need to determine, do I want to leave my variable on the left or the right side? And to be honest with you, I don't really care which side you want to put your variable on or leave your variable on. What I care about is, I prefer, or not what I care about, but I prefer to get the variable on the side that's going to be that's going to give you the larger value. I do not like dealing with negative numbers. So what I'm going to do is I have a negative 9b. I am going to get rid of the negative 9b on the right side rather than getting rid of the positive 2b because 2b is going to have, is a larger quantity than negative 9b. So to get rid of the negative 9, I'm going to add 9b on both sides. Therefore, it gives me 11b plus 4 equals negative 18. So just by doing that one simple step, I was able to take my b's, combine them to one variable, and now I can, um, now I can solve this using my two-step equations. So the first thing I do is undo addition to my variable by using the subtraction property of equality equals 11b equals a negative 22. Then I undo multiplication by dividing by 11 on both sides, and I get b equals a negative 2. So therefore, the value of b that makes this equation true is a negative 2. And there you go. That's simple. Thanks.